Hey guys and welcome back to another Manager Ford tutorial. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create different debris for when shooting something. So if we shoot a wall we'll get concrete debris, if we shoot the grass or dirt we'll get grass or dirt debris. So we're going to have different debris for different surfaces that we shoot. Now for this I'm going to be using the bullet impact particles on the Unreal Marketplace which is roughly about £8. Now this does work without that as well and I will show you three alternatives in this video too if you don't have that. But if you want the specific looks and visuals which I've got then this is the pack that you'd use which I'll leave a link to in the description down below. So let me show you what this is going to look like. So we get in, we can walk around and if we shoot the wall we're going to get a concrete effect like that. So we get a concrete blast effect for when shooting a concrete wall. If we shoot grass, we're going to get a grass effect which isn't too big, doesn't look too massive or anything. I hope you can see we do get it. And the same with dirt as well. If we shoot the dirt, we get a dirt debris like so. And this is what we're going to make today. And this is fully customizable so you can add as many different ones as you want for as many different surfaces, as many different effects. You can use whichever effect that you want to use to make it look however you want it to look as well. But like I say, this is what we're going to make today. So without further ado, let me do this code and I'll show you how I've done this. So the first step we want to take is we want to set up the different physical materials and different physical surfaces for what we want to have. So for example, the concrete, grass and dirt. And to do this, we're going to go into our project settings. So I'm going to go to edit, project settings. I'm going to go down to physics down here, scroll down until we find the physical surfaces. Now we can have a maximum of 62 different surfaces, however that should be good enough for you. And all we want to do is under surface type 1 or wherever you have it, we're going to change the name from non to be concrete or again whatever you want it to be. Surface type 2, I'm going to have dirt and 3 I'll have grass. The name doesn't matter at all, you can name it whatever you like. However, it just makes sense for if you want it to be concrete, to name it concrete and stuff like that. So I'm giving them these names. I want to have these three different surfaces of concrete, dirt and grass. Again, get this to be whatever you like. And then we can close that as that's what we need to do to set up the physical surfaces. But now we also need to set up the physical materials to go along with that surface. So to do this, I'm going to do it in my gun impact particles folder here. I'm just going to right click, go to physics. And I'm going to create a physical material. Select physical material there. And I'm just going to name this one Concrete PM, like so. Duplicate that, name it Grass PM, and duplicate that, and name it Dirt PM. And then if we open these up, what we can do is this is the Dirt PM here. I'm going to change the surface type under Physical Properties from Default to Dirt, and we can save that. And what this means is that whatever material this physical material is placed onto, it's going to have the surface type of Dirt meaning that that material is classified as dirt. So we close that and do the same for concrete. So change it to concrete there, save, and the same for grass. We're gonna change it to grass like so. We can save that. But now we also need to put this on our material. So we've got the physical material and the physical surface set up, but now we want to attach it to an actual material. So to do that, I'm gonna select my grass material here, and double click materials here to open it up. And so now you see on the left, we have physical material and phys material there. I'm going to press none and change this to be my grass PM there. We can apply that and what this means is that this grass material now has the grass physical material which has the grass surface type. So what we're doing is this kind of long list, putting them together means that essentially when we're on this grass material we are on grass, which is obviously how we want. So we're just telling the engine that this is actually grass. We'll do the same for dirt, so double click the material to open it up, change the physical material to be our dirt PM that we made earlier. I'll do the same for concrete as well and again you do this for all of the different materials that you want to have. And the concrete I'm just going to have this cube material here so I'll select that and then have the physical material as my concrete here. Again fully customizable and easy to adapt onto and easy to implement other stuff in so you can build upon this to get it perfect for you. So if we close that we can actually start setting up and actually spawning in the particles now. So for this, I'm going to do it all in the projectile blueprint. So for me, that's going to be in content, first person BP, blueprints, first person projectile, but you just do this in your bullet blueprint. And what I'm going to do is come off of the event hit. So I have event hit here. If you have other code here, what you can do is get a sequence by holding down S and left clicking, connecting the code you have now into then zero, and this new code into then one down here. But I don't need to, so I'm going to delete that. And what we want to do is hold down O and left click to get a do once as we only want this to spawn in on the first hit. So if it hits the wall and then hits the floor and rolls, 
we only want to do it when it hits the wall, not the floor and not when it's rolling. And we don't need to reset this because we only want to do it once, so it will only do it once per projectile. Then after the do once, so this is the code which will be done once, I'm going to come out of completed and get a sphere trace by channel. Now the reason I'm getting a sphere trace by channel is because we can't actually get the surface type via the event hit, so we need to run a very quick trace to find out which surface we're on. And so to do this, we're going to get the hit location, connecting that into the start of the sphere trace by channel, as we want to do it where the projectile lands. And the end will be the hit location, and we're going to get a vector plus a vector, and we're just going to add 5 on the x, y, and z. So it's just going to be a very small sphere around the bullet projectile where it landed, so that we can just see which surface we're on. So I think that's going to be good. I'm just going to double click these to get some root nodes to keep it nice and organized. And we don't need to change anything else on here, as like I say, we're just doing this simply to find out which surface we're on, as the event hit doesn't do that for us. So what we're going to do after this is we're going to hold down B and left click to get branch, connecting the condition into the return value and the execution into the output there. And this is because we only want to fire this off if we've actually hit something. And out of the out hit, I'm going to get surface type. So whatever we hit, it's going to get the surface which that is, which is obviously either the default, the concrete, the dirt, or the grass, or again, whatever you set them up to be. And out of the return value of that, we want to simply get a switch on E physical surface, which is going to give us a list of all of the different surface types that we have here, and so we can come out of either of these. So if we hit concrete, it's going to come out this execution. If we get grass, it will come out this execution, and so on and so forth for as many different ones you have. And so what we're going to do now is just after this, we're going to right click and spawn system at location. And I'm going to not connect that onto any of these just yet. I'm going to right click the system template, promote it to a variable and name it particle. And I'm just going to put that above there. And this is because we want to change the particle dependent on which surface we're on. So I'm going to set the particle off of all of these from the physical surface switch here. So that's concrete, dirt and grass. And again, do this for as many as you want. I'm not going to do it for the default. However, again, you can as well. So let's say the default for you would be blood. So if you're hitting a person, that would be default. Everything else would have a physical surface like this. So you could do that and that should work perfectly for you. And actually, I might do that as well just to show you it working. So I'm going to set those there and set the default there as well. After we set them all, we can just connect them into the spawn system. So it's then going to spawn whatever particle we set it to be. And let's put in those particles now. So default, I said I want it to be blood. And again, these ones I'm using from the marketplace pack, which I have, but the functionality and the code will work perfectly no matter what you're using. You just won't have these specific particle effects, but everything else will work the exact same. So I've got blood, concrete, dirt, and grass. And again, there are some free alternatives. So if I just compile this real quick and go into content, start a content, which is obviously free, you have this by default. And then we go into particles, you have these here. So you can use the smoke, the dust, the steam, the sparks, all of these to get the perfect effects which you'd like. And again, there are also ways to create your own particles as well, or buy some from the marketplace. So now if we go back into our projectile blueprint here, let's set up the location, rotation, and scale for this particle. So this is also very simple. So what we're going to do is back off of our event hit here. We want to come out with the hit location we're out of this and this one is just going to go straight into the location of the spawn system. So wherever the bullet lands is where we want to spawn the particle. Again, I'm just going to double click these to get some root nodes to keep it looking nice and organized. And then out of the hit normal for our event hit, we're going to make rot from X like so. It's so just going to make the rotation from the X axis and that will go into the rotation of the spawn system. So that means it's going to always be rotating and facing the correct way, no matter which surface or which side of the wall or whatever we hit it on and we shoot at. Again, double click to get rerun nodes. And then back in the spawn system here, we're going to make sure that we have auto destroy and auto activate ticked as well as everything else. So we'll leave all the default settings as they are and the scale I'm going to leave as one as well. However, again, you can customize the scale to make it bigger or smaller, whatever you'd want. And then out of this, all I'm going to do is simply get a destroy actor. Now you don't need to do this, the only reason I'm doing it is because I want the bullet projectile to be despawned and deleted and destroyed when we shoot something. Again, you don't need to do that if you don't want. But this is the code done. So again, you can customize this to use whatever particles you want on whatever system or whatever surface you want. Very easy to change. And even if you're not using the same asset pack that I am, 
the base functionality of this will still work the exact same. The only thing different is what particles you put in here, but everything else will work the exact same way. So if we compile and save this, we can minimize and hit play to see if this is working. So we get in, if I shoot the floor or shoot this, we're going to get the concrete particle system there, the concrete spawning in. If we shoot the grass, we're going to get the grass system. If we shoot the dirt, we're going to get the dirt system as well, like that. So the grass looks slightly different because I believe the grass is actually in a different asset pack, which is from a footsteps one, which I think is also free. So I'll leave a link to that in the description down below as well, as I believe that has some free alternatives in here too. Again, this works perfectly, so we have grass, dirt, and concrete, and it's very easy to customize this to get it perfect for you. So again, we have the particles from the start content, particles from this gun impact particles one I'm using here, and we also have some footstep ones here as well, which I'll also leave in the description down below. And in here we have dirt, we have sand, we have water, grass, all of this, and again, I believe this one is actually free as well. So I think that'll be it for this video, so we don't have anything we want to do. We set up this system in which we can have different particle effects spawning whenever we shoot a different surface. And this works perfectly and it's very easy to build upon. So thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.